do you see the current state of digital twin? Um, is this technology uh, already widespread and where do you see the, the biggest potential here? Yeah, I think um, in terms of uh, digital twins, it's been actually, I mean, GE actually uh, sort of, uh, you know, came up with the term a long time ago. I think these days it's becoming a very hot topic because all of a sudden uh, there's a lot more uh, sensor data. For example, IoT. IoT industry is becoming a huge, huge, huge uh, business, right, where basically dumb devices become smart. Once you have actually interconnected sensor data, that becomes even more interesting the whole system of interconnected IoT devices. Then, all of a sudden, how do you manage this stuff? Right? How do you understand it? And that's something that we work on. So, um, there's data visualization that I believe is probably uh, the next step in, in, this, in this path to, to master that. Mm -hmm. um, where do you see that? Are there any uh, interesting developments in data visualization? Yeah, actually, um, so what we do is actually, uh, we do a lot of 3D visualization in real time. So um, we're seeing a lot of different industries, for example, smart cities and smart factories, where a lot of the very heavy data, for example, CAD data from factories uh, cannot be visualized in real time. So uh, what we do at DigiTwin is actually, we can import all of this data onto our platform because we have our own proprietary 3D technology and you can quickly visualize it, not only on your PC or tablet or phone, but also through virtual reality and augmented reality. Uh, so in terms of 3D visualization, I, I think that is actually becoming a much bigger requirement uh, because, uh, like I mentioned, with uh, more data, right, for example, with 5G, everything will be connected. And once all this data that's being generated every single second of the day, um, how do we as humans understand it? So that's something that where we do. For example, um, we did a project uh, actually in Shanghai where we actually used uh, drones to uh, completely scan an entire district. So that becomes sort of a digitalization of uh, a district of a city. And then what you can do with that is all sorts of different applications. For example, not only navigation, but also you can replace different buildings once we actually classify it and say, well, for the urban planning division, I can actually put a new tower here and see the effects of it uh, with neighboring buildings. For example, uh, from the shadows that potentially a, a very high skyscraper might, uh, might, might do. So yeah, I mean, I think um, 3D visualization is very important these days.